Hello and welcome to our project demonstration of Triple E402 Sessional. The name of our group is Phoenix. Our project here is called Levit or Magnetic Levitation. As you can see, this entire area is the setup of our apparatus. This here is the electromagnet. It is made up of ferrite cores wound by 22 gauge copper wires. Located beneath and above the electromagnet are two linear Hall effect sensors. Whenever a positive magnetic coefficient material is brought near the electromagnet from the bottom, more flux is linked at the bottom than at the top. As a result, the difference in voltage readings between the two sensors cause the duty cycle of a pulse width modulated wave to be varied accordingly. This entire arrangement is contained in a box of... Now, let us take a look into the circuit. In this circuit, we have used LM324 and LM358 op amps, H49E Hall effect sensors, an IRF250 MOSFET, a diode, and suitable resistances, and two potentiometers. In this first op amp, we invert the reading from the top Hall effect sensor. This output then goes to the second op amp where it gets added with the reading from the bottom Hall effect sensor. The result is the difference between the two Hall effect sensors. Now, in case both the sensors are not homogeneous and there is a voltage offset between them, we have used another, we have used the first potentiometer to clear any voltage offset when no object is placed. The output of this third op amp is then fed to a fourth comparator. In this comparator, we can set a V reference voltage from the second uh, potentiometer and with that, we can adjust the air gap height with which this object floats. Let us see a demonstration of that. Here I am rotating the up amp and thereby changing the reference voltage. You see it's moving closer to the electromagnet and, and it falls because of the lack of stability. Now let's try it again. Now let's try moving a little far. In, that is increasing the distance between the object and the electromagnet. As you can see, it's moving down, descending slowly. Now let's try with another object. As we can see, it again floats with effortless ease. Now let's check if the presence of a non-magnetic material between the object and the electromagnet affects its stability. As you can see, I'm moving the probe right between the gap of the object and the electromagnet. But we see no observable disturbance. Let us come back to this circuit over here. Now, as I had previously said that this output of the comparator goes to the gate of this IRF250 MOSFET and sw switches the MOSFET on and off constantly. Now, how is this achieved? Whenever any object such as this, whenever any magnetic object is brought close to this electromagnet, the bottom reading of the Hall effect sensor increases and ultimately passing through the entire circuitry, whenever it's greater than the reference voltage applied, the MOSFET turns off or this comparator gives the voltage corresponding to its negative bias, which is zero or ground. Whenever the object is moved far apart, 
this voltage falls beneath the reference voltage and then the positive bias voltage of this comparator or plus 10 volts is applied to the MOSFET and therefore it is then switched on and it attracts the object back. So therefore the object is actually in a constant oscillation when it moves close to the electromagnet, the electromagnet switches off, then it moves back down, then it switches on, then it moves back up, up, down, up, down, up, down, very fast, over many times in a second. Now let's take a look at the PWM wave shape obtained from this comparator at the oscilloscope. As we can see, this is a constantly changing pulse width modulated wave and the duty cycle of which changes constantly as well. Thank you for watching. Good day.